Anyone who set foot on this island, quarantined for 50 years, was as good as dead. There are a handful of islands on this planet that are, for the most part, uninhabited by humans. This untouched nature makes some of these islands mini paradises. Others, however, are intentionally vacant due to far more sinister reasons. Case in point, Grunard Island, located just over a half a mile off Scotland's coast in Grunard Bay. It might look idyllic to the naked eye. With its soft green hills, you might suppose that it's one of those islands preserved by the government, a vestige of a time long past. While this island may seem like a beautiful place, it has a chilling history that might just make any would-be visitors head in the other direction. From afar, Grunard Island appears to be quiet and serene. Situated just off the northwest coast of Scotland, it has a peaceful, picturesque quality to it. Unfortunately, a sad and shocking truth hides within those green hills, and it all starts with World War II. In the thick of the war, the fear of chemical attacks lingered in the back of each army's minds. The Nazis used concentration camps to develop nerve gases in secret, and the Japanese were no strangers to chemicals. British forces decided to develop a plan to fight back with a deadly chemical of their own, a substance known as anthrax. They needed a place where they could test it, however, and one official knew just the place. Officials requisitioned Grinard Island and went to work on chemical testing. To carry out the tests, researchers brought 80 sheep to the island and then set off spores filled with the highly infectious anthrax strain Volume 14578. The sheep began to die of the infection within mere days. With the sheep population devastated, scientists concluded that a large release of anthrax in a German city would wipe out the population and make it uninhabitable for decades after. After the war ended in 1945, the original owner requested that Grenard Island be returned but the government admitted that the terrain was so contaminated that it couldn't be released until it was cleaned up and declared safe for habitation by man and beast. So when would that be? Maybe never. A massive decontamination project was deemed too expensive and dangerous, so the island was quarantined and closed to the public for the next several decades. No one could visit the island except for those who periodically returned to test its toxicity. By 1981, a team of microbiologists had had enough of the government's refusal to actively decontaminate the island. Under cover of night, they embarked on Operation Dark Harvest, stealing 300 pounds of soil samples from the island and threatening to leave them at strategic government facilities until the island was restored. Finally, the wheels of contamination started turning and the government made an effort to set things right. Officials sprayed formaldehyde mixed with seawater over the soil and removed toxic patches. Sometime later, they placed a flock of sheep on the island, all of which survived. On April 24, 1990, four years after the decontamination efforts and 48 years after the initial quarantine, Grunard Island was finally declared safe and free of anthrax. A week later, heirs of the initial owner purchased it back for the original sale price of 500 pounds. Or about six hundred dollars not everyone is convinced that the biological danger on the island is over archaeologist dr brian moffett warns that anthrax is a highly resilient bacterium stating i would not go walking on grunard can you believe this beautiful island has such an unsettling history share this wild piece of history with your friends don't forget to like and comment and thanks for watching